Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Wanted to uh, ask you guys if you could do me a favor. Um, if you're watching these videos and, and checking out the channel and you like what you see, if you guys could hit the subscribe button for me, we would really appreciate that. Uh, we are working our way to trying to get monetized so that we can build bigger, better cars and more builds and so on and so forth and keep doing this. And uh, that would help us a lot um, if you guys could do that for us. So. Um, that's really all I got for you. Really appreciate all of you. Stay tuned. We've got lots of cool builds coming. Lots of things starting to happen on a lot of different cars. So it won't just be the thing. It's going to be the thing, the 40 Ford, the Apache. There's going to be a lot of things happening. So just stay tuned and uh, I will try my best to get you as many videos as I can, uh, including Don's 1957 Chevy two-door post uh, that we're working on. Uh, there's a lot going on over there too. So Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for everything. We really appreciate you. Have a great night. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. We are working on the 1973 Volkswagen thing today. Just finishing up some uh, last-minute little details we needed to do, uh, mainly pertaining to the fuse panel. Um, we need to install the clear cover on the bottom that goes over the fuses. And we got a package in from the thing shop. Uh, yeah, thing shop. These are cut. This would be just a couple things we have to have. I actually had it at one point, and then it disappeared. So what I was missing was my fuse panel clip that holds it to the actual uh, metal panel. Uh, and which would be this guy right here. That's what we were missing. So we're going to install that. And uh, what do they call it? Fuse box clip. Fuse box clip. So we're going to put that in and then uh, see if we can't not mess anything up. And then we will install the clear cover. And then I bought new screws, the new stainless steel correct screws for the dash, uh, for the dash panels. So, like the speedometer, um, I had the right ones for the bottom, but I ran out. I didn't have enough to do the two on the top, that kind of thing. So, we'll get those in, we'll get the clip, we'll get this in. Uh, been doing some, some shakedown runs with the thing this morning um, and with the 40. The 40's running good, um, thing's running great. Fired right up, no issue. Uh, drove around the neighborhood a couple times doing good um, I found that if I uh, if I you know get it up to like 30 miles an hour 25 30 miles an hour put it in neutral and slam on the brakes um, the brakes get better and better so I've done that quite a few times just trying to get more brake I guess uh, to wear them in a little bit see if that doesn't do anything and it seems to be working so it's working you know uh, so we got that. Um, some other things that are happening here, just so you guys know. Let me uh, let me show you here. We uh, we went to Auto Body Express today and bought some stuff. A couple things actually. One of those things is it's clear. I don't know where it went, but we bought a quart of paint uh, for the thing, quarter flame red. Um, and, and here's what kind of happened, and I know this is going to look like total dog shit, um, but right here, um, we, we painted this car um, when it was very hot and very humid, um, and we're having some issues with the clear on just the doors, um, just the clear's popping, and, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're going to fix that. So th it actually bubbled right here which is when we first really started paying attention to it and we picked it off a little bit. We need to, this all gets sanded down, so don't freak out. Um, but what you would see is like, 
there, uh, there, all right? You get little spots. Um, actually, they look, this looks pretty good other than the top. Oh, around the hinge there. Um, just weird, and, and we don't like it, and so we're gonna fix it. So um, over the next couple weeks, uh, I think we're gonna wait um, another, until I get back from vacation, um, just for the pure fact that it'll be cooler and way less humid here in Florida. And that is what I need to happen. Um, when we went to Auto Body Express and talked to him, talked to Nick over there, um, he has had numerous, uh, when I say numerous, I mean five or six people call him that are body men and painters that have sprayed the same stuff we're spraying, the shop line, JC630, clear, and so on, and base, and they're getting the same problems. And these are in paint booths, this is the whole deal. Now the problem is the humidity. Everybody's running between 80 to 90 percent humidity in the booth and the panels and the exterior temperatures usually around 100 um, High 90s to 100 and The panels are warm and it just causes problems. It doesn't want to adhere. It doesn't gas off correctly as they called it um, so Makes a lot of sense so and they showed me some pictures and stuff and ours is exactly the same as the pictures i saw from the other body shops and stuff so that is something we're going to be working on so you will see the doors come off of here and you will see us retouch up or actually sand down we're going to repaint this door and re-clear it and the other three doors are going to get sanded down and re-cleared and then back here just there just wasn't enough paint um th this was went weird back here um, so what we're going to do um, is sand this down and repaint it and re-clear it. Just the back section here. Everything else turned out pretty good, but up to the back seats here, back, I'm going to repaint. Um, just to make sure that this is what, I want this to be a, a nice car for somebody that's going to last. And, you know, the weather here, you know, again, we're from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's very different there. Um, what we're used to painting in and I and I guess a lot of the guys are just having the same problem. It's just hot and humid this year. So the other issue we ran into was like you can see here. And then you get these little that's dust, but like here. I don't know if you can see that. You know this one here, I got nothing on top. Yeah, like right here. Right there. I mean just weird. Um and you know we're popping around the hinges and it just not great so we are going to fix all of this and uh you know we made the decision really this morning to to just do this right and uh you know we were going to buff it out and polish it and everything else and everything else turned out good and we'll have no issues the body is great the fenders are great the only thing the only other thing we got to touch up on paint is here um, passenger rear right there that is where the tire rubbed the fender before I put the air shocks on so we got to take care of all that so that's what's happening over here I just wanted you guys to know what we're doing and what you can expect to see and why the doors are going to come off and so on and so forth and um, yeah so anyway I'm gonna set you guys up over on the other side here and open up this fuse panel and put this clip in and put the cover on. I'll show you that if best I can. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move forward. All right, guys, be right back. Okay, welcome back. So the screws I'm putting in are here and here. I've already got the one there and I've already got the one there. If I can get past the grab bar and all that shit, but it's right there behind the mic. So that's what I'm going to do right now. already got the clips in there. All I had to do was this right here. Boom. There's one. There's two. Like I said, nothing big. Just things that need to be dialed in. Okay. That's in. Now what I need to do next here is all gonna pertain with this panel here. 
Okay, so the fuse, fuses are right here. Okay, you can probably see them a little bit. But I need to take this screw out. And I believe this is the wrong screw. I'm gonna swap it out. But I'm gonna, oh, that was easy. Definitely the wrong screw. So what I'm gonna do here, and desperately try to not screw up my wiring, is, can you guys even see that? Let me show you here. Okay, so right here, okay, there's a clip be this guy okay this clip goes in and it holds that fuse panel to the panel now I just got to hook that up okay guys got the clear cover on the fuse panel for those of you wondering what a fuse panel on a Volkswagen thing looks like there you go that's where it's at I also put this wire loom here over those wires just to clean that up and uh, I think I'm gonna do something here real quick and then I'll be right back to you. Tomorrow we're gonna to jack up the 40 and uh, bleed the brakes, try to get the better pedal and adjust the uh, the pedal rod and uh, just kind of dial that in um, and kind of go from there. Um, that's pretty much the only thing left on the 40 from a mechanical standpoint. Um, steer's good. Uh, runs good, fires right up, shifts great, no issues. I guess I guess I take that back. We have to hook up the uh, kick down cable, so we'll, maybe we'll mess with that tomorrow too, and uh, just kind of go from there. And uh, we'll just keep packing away at the uh, thing as we go here too, and uh, see where we get. But uh, that's the plan. We did pick up um, U-pull high build primer for this for the 40 uh, in uh, black. So since it's gonna be a black car, it's better to have a dark base under it. So we, uh, and yes, we're gonna put a black sealer down and all of that. So um, it's not that important, but we're doing it anyway. Um, so when we're gone, Ryan can get this thing where it needs to be so we can get it painted, get the wheel wells undercoated, under the fenders, so on and so forth. So anyway, guys, that's what I got for you. Um, we'll be back at you tomorrow with some more content and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching Brown's Rock and Custom.